Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maitha for those of you who are new here. For today's video, I am so excited to share. Um, I actually just got back from Iceland a couple of days ago and I got one comment to do a like try on review of the Patagonia like outer shell that I showed in my pack with me to Iceland video. If you didn't watch that video and you're curious about what I took to Iceland, it'll be linked down below. But today I wanted to show you the jacket and I wanted to try it on for you, kind of give you more specs on the actual jacket. So if you guys are interested in this video, then please keep watching. And I also wanted to mention that I will be including clips from my trip to Iceland that I just documented while I was there while I was wearing this jacket uh, because during the trip I was actually thinking in my head like now I understand why Patagonia is so expensive is because when you really put it through the weather that it's meant to be used for it works. I can confidently say that it's 100% waterproof it helps keep the wind out and in Iceland there were really harsh winds at times um, the hood itself is really nice. It fully comes forward and it kind of like covers your eyes a little bit I went ahead and just packed it up this way, which is really cool So it comes in a zipper and I'll show you what pocket this is exactly so we'll just open it right up and then we'll start unpacking the jacket So this pocket where it kind of like folds into is actually one of the main pockets of the jacket and you just are gonna flip it inside out and it's the left pocket you'll know which pocket it is based on which one has this little strap here So this is the jacket in question. So this is the Patagonia hard shell, outer shell. And I believe, I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys are curious. The color is not quite white. So my nails, I actually just got them painted. I would say this is more of like an eggshell color. Yeah, it's really thin. So like the material itself, it's not bulky at all. This is just meant to go right on top of your other mid and base layers so it's really nice really breathable i'm just wearing a t-shirt right now so it's gonna look a little big on me but just keep in mind that you want to make sure that you get a size that's going to be like comfortable enough where you can wear bulky jackets under and you won't feel like a marshmallow so i'm just gonna put this on and i'll zip it up And this is what the jacket looks like. I hope you can see that okay. Here it is from the side, in the back. It has this Velcro around the wrist so you can make it as tight or as loose as possible to make sure that you're not letting any of the cold air in. In this case, while I was in Iceland, I had mittens on and I was able to get the mitten inside my jacket and then fully seal it so that I didn't let any cold air in. It's a really nice jacket, really great material. It also has zippers here on the side to let fresh air in if you get, or like to let ventilation in. So you'll see my shirt here is a full jacket i can like stick my hand in here um, and this is just meant like if you get hot but you don't want to take your jacket off you could always open this up which is really cool on both sides also this is also really nice it fully covers your neck the hood i think is one of my favorite parts you do have to zip it down before you pull it up though so you just put this right up. I need to actually put my hair in. One second. Okay, here we go. So this is me with the jacket fully zipped up. So one thing that I do really love about this jacket, aside from like the wrists and keeping them really tight to the wrist, is the hood. 
So right now that I have the hood up, it's really flimsy, it's really loose. If it's windy, this is gonna be all over the place. This jacket has a uh, like string here on the back of the head. I hope you can see that okay. Not entirely sure. Essentially, you just pull it and you can make it as tight or keep it as loose as possible. So I had it probably as tight as it could go without giving me a headache. But um, keep in mind that I did have a beanie under and so the beanie actually helped the actual hood get grip on it so like it wasn't falling. But it's fully secure on my head and then this just kind of sticks out a little bit. You can see that it cinches up here on the side. I'll show you just like a side view here and it covers my eyes and my eyebrows a little bit which is really nice and like my forehead so there's protection comfortable i took it while i went on a glacier hike i took it while i went to the beach i basically did not leave the house without it because it the weather was really unpredictable so it was rainy one day it was windy the next it was snowing like it was all over the place but i had such a great time and yeah this jacket incredible so I'm gonna get dressed as I would be in Iceland. So we'll start with a beanie. We'll do the first layer, or I guess technically the first layer would be my base layer. So I would normally have heat tech on, but I have everything washing right now since I just got back. So we'll just do my t-shirt. And this is technically considered a mid layer. This is the better sweater. So we'll zip that up. I have the nano puff and I will also zip this up. The better sweater is a size small, this is a medium, and then the outer wow. shell is a large. And then finally we have the outer shell. And I usually always kept my hair tucked in aside from like these tiny little ones on the side. But then I'll zip this one up. And then we'll bring the hoodie up. And it's really tight and secure. And then I zip this all the way up like this. This is how I was going out, still with my mittens. It was really cold, but it was really nice. So these are all the layers. This is what it looks like with the layers. I'll turn from the side. Still comfortable enough to do things. Bend over, reach up. So it's, it's pretty comfortable. And then this is tight. So this is not going anywhere. And it's actually, I do recommend, um, if you are gonna use it and you do want a really secure fit, I do recommend either wearing a beanie um, or some type of hat, that way it's really secure. But I don't know if you can see like how tight I have to like pull down. Like that. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this small review slash demo. I am working on putting together a Iceland vlog. So if anyone is interested in that, that should be coming out sometime this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it educational. If you have any additional questions on any of the jackets, any of the gear, I'm happy to share. Um, I'm happy to, you know, respond and hopefully I have an answer for you. But yeah, if you stayed to the end of this video, I want to thank you so much. If you subscribe to the channel, I also want to say thank you and I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.